Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be looking at Eververse. Now, honestly, I do not have much faith in this because i it's just me. I'm very pessimistic, especially when it comes to Eververse because most of the time, it's usually just ends up being bad. So we're going to be looking at Eververse and the Battle Pass mostly. I'll be doing a video of what's new in this season in another video and I will be doing another video about looking at about the engrams that they're giving out because I did look in it a bit and I <laughs> oh man I got a lot of things to say about that so we're gonna be looking at the store I don't even know why you're looking at my character let's look at the store so I literally have not done anything in the game because I tried to do this video before and it kind of came out bad so yeah Let's get into it. So we're going to first look at the fact that she's selling stuff from last season, which is very reminiscent of Shadowkeep. That first se that first week she was giving out stuff from last season as well. So, I mean, I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm just saying that's very consistent. So we're going to look at the Bright Dust, Dust first because it's all stuff from last season. Again, like I said, it's not immediately like pissing me off because that's what she did last season and do i like it fuck no i do not like that but i mean at the whatever i guess it would be awesome if they had another like section for last season and then this season i know that's a lot to ask for but i mean like dude i don't want to see stuff that's already that like i either already got or I have no business of giving a shit about. Except from like this one. This one looks awesome. I don't know. May I don't know, man. I'm just conflicted right now. Let's look at the archive. You can get more armor sets now. I am still pissed that you can't get like the like the one of the ones that I don't have, which is season two. And we've just passed like what? One Vex season and then another Vex season. They still don't have the season two armor set. What the fuck? Give me the season two armor set. That's the only one I need. I would put down money for it. Uh, okay, so let's look at the seasonal. Now, this is where kind of my thoughts come into play. Where it's like, I mean, this this season's Eververse is not that good in my opinion. Like, just not like I'm not coming from a whole like, oh, this is bad. This is all guard. No, I'm talking like this season's like I don't think like. This is very subjective. You can think this is amazing. Me personally, I don't think it's that amazing. And when I say that, like, I say, look at the hunter. Does it look awesome? Yeah, it does look pretty cool. But there's just something about it that I'm like, I, uh, mm, I don't know about that, Chief. Like, it's it look it. Mm. Would I wear some of these? I would wear this one with this armor set for sure. <clears throat> But it all depends if I can change the color of all of these things. Like, if Vice does not change color, I can 100% like guarantee you that I will not wear all, any of this armor that has Vice in it. Which is literally almost everything except the chest piece and the helmet. And I actually really do fuck with the helmet. The helmet looks really cool. And then the chest piece looks really cool as well. Oh, it it doesn't have clipping. Okay, yeah. So I fucks with this. I fuck this. I fucks with this a lot. If these dots can turn into this color, I fuck with it even more. So there's a few things I like about this armor set. It's just that it all hinges on the fact that if I can change the color of everything. So yeah, in my opinion, I'm not a really big fan of it. If we go up here and back out of this, we can see the other classes. In my opinion. I'm not a big fan of the of the Titans because these boots look really gross in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of these boots. I think the in my opinion, the Warlocks have the strongest armor from this season because it looks awesome, the helmet looks awesome, the trench coat looks looks awesome, the boots look cool, the arms are really hit or miss, but it looks cool. Like all of that looks awesome. The bond really usually never, I really never care about it. But in my opinion, they have the strongest one. Now it all hinges, like I said, if I can change all the colors. If I can change all the colors, then I'll be happy. The Titans have the weakest one in my opinion, mostly because of the boots. Helmet's okay. The arms look really fucking gross. 
There's a lot of Omelon everywhere. I, I don't know. In my opinion, this one's just weak. Which is not, and which isn't anything new. They usually have weak armor sets, so I mean, hey, don't break what's not broken. I guess whatever. That I don't know. So this one's gonna be the first armor set for the hunters. This is for the Shinobu's Val, and I'm gonna be honest. I I hate these. These, these look horrible. Whoever designed this, they did a bad job. Although I do know what they were going for. They're going for it looks like like Cabal. That's the gimmick, ha, huh? I get it, it looks cool. That, like this right here looks cool. It's probably mostly this right here that gives me issues. Other than that, it looks cool. I would have been fine if they didn't have this or decrease the size. This one, uh, I like it. I like. I, re I really like this one. I I'm happy they're giving us more choices with this, like this armor set or this uh, this specific armor. But, like I said, it all, it all hinges if I can change all the colors. If I can change all the colors, I would actually be okay with this. It'd even be... It, to, if, like, for Bungie to wow me even more, if the arrows change color, I would fuck with this hard. I really would. So, all these look pretty cool. I mean, I'm not going to go look through them all, essentially. Hot, okay, let's look at this one. This one looks cool, but I wouldn't have chosen... Hive themed, but then again, I do get it. Abyssal scream. It, it makes sense in my head. I probably wouldn't have done it though. This is basically. I'm pretty sure this is a skin from, from Destiny One, for the black or for the Red Death. It, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Telesto. I don't know why we got another skin for. It. I think that we have like two or three maybe. It looks awesome though. Don't get me wrong. It looks amazing. But I probably would have chosen chosen another weapon. This one's probably hands down the coolest coolest ornament we've got this season. It looks amazing. I do think it's um, Iron Banner themed because of this specific art like head right here. I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong, but that's just the vibe I got, which would be funny because Lord of Wolves did kind of destroy Iron Banner for for like a few days or whatever. I, I don't remember. It's been a while. This one, there's nothing noteworthy to say really. Kind of reminds me of one of the ornaments that we already have for it. This one looks okay. This is basically a trust ornament. The same ornaments that we got for Bygones and the Rocket Launcher. This one, in my, in my opinion, is probably the one I have the most issues with. Because if you guys can see, it's very tailored to how the Hive in the Tangled Shore look. Where they have spikes and shit. This would have been an amazing cosmetic skin for all of the uh, Tangled Shore weapons. And if they gave us like a Tangled Shore activity or an event that we could do. And they drop these as like rewards. The weapons and weapon skins. It would have been awesome. But like, no, no. They're selling it through Eververse. And we're going to have, obviously we're going to have like more of these weapons coming out if it does well. These look awesome. Five dollars each. I probably would not put down. I love this one though. This front, this one I would probably put down money for. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for for this season. I'm really not one to give a fuck about emotes, ghost projections, or these. I, I don't care to be honest. And that's pretty much it from Eververse. We're gonna be looking at. The collections part of this video and then after that we'll talk about the battle pass so out of all of these this one's my favorite hands down this is the best looking one you are their ghost is a literal fucking shield it's so good it's so cool i don't know why i love this so much but it looks amazing whoever did whoever made this made did they did a good job with this dog i'm stuttering this shit's mad good other than that, this one's also good. I actually love this one a lot. I don't know why. This one looks awesome. It's thick. It's thick, but it's ridiculous. It, it's it's meaty. This one is awesome as well. I love this one. I love uh, I love this one a lot. My only issue is I would have swapped these two because 
This is basically just a reskin, an elaborate reskin, mind you, but it's a reskin of this, basically. Essentially. The only thing that's different is that this actually indents into here more and then one up here. That's it. That's it really for me. Like when I saw this, I was like, I mean, that looks cool, but I'm not going to tell you it's not. I don't feel like it's a reskin because I feel like it's a reskin. It's it definitely feels like a reskin. So if you guys want to fight me on that, granted, yeah, I know. Like, uh, I don't know, man. For me, it's just not enough, especially since the simulation shell literally has like smoke inside it but like yeah let's give let's give our guardians something basic as fuck as in like a, like a really whatever what <sighs> they, they did that it's a thing this one you can actually get from the battle pass if i am not mistaken although i wish i liked it more but i mean that's just personal preference at that point but it's cool that they gave us an exotic ghost finally but it's not in game so i'm still kind of bummed about that ships i actually like most of these uh except probably this one it's all right the omelon one looks awesome that looks cool and that looks cool as well i kind of just realized did the warlocks get the tex mechanica armor because if they did i'm gonna be kind of mad the hunter should have gotten that it takes me mechanica unless it's in, in the lore but i've always i don't know what the fuck ever that's just a random thought i had all these look cool i think this one's probably the best one in my opinion it just oh my god this looks meaty it's it's amazing this is obviously takes mechanica like for sure if I'm, am i saying that name right i feel like i am we'll check in a bit but this one's okay, this one's okay, this one's bad, this one's okay, th these two are okay. So, in my opinion, these are alright, this is, this is probably, yeah, this is okay as well. I'm, I'm not saying it's bad, I just, I wouldn't put money down for that, so, yeah. And then Seasonal, Gate Lord's Eye. And that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously, there's like new weapons, new exotics, new armor. But I usually don't do that in this type of video. But we will be looking at the seasons now. Or this. So we're gonna get this obviously, because I want this. It's been I've been wanting to get that for a while. And let's look at some of this shit. Alright, so this is probably connected to Osiris as in like, oh something, I don't know. Five enhancement cores. Okay, Bungie. That's that's what I like. Five is great. Three is good. Okay. Glimmer's still garbage though. <laughs> Why are you giving this car? <laughs> I fucking hate it. So I really do like that they gave us this one. I would have been really fucking angry if I if they made that. Uh yeah, I'm happy about that. Let's see this. This does not look bad. It's just the the choice of armor that I'm wearing makes it look weird. But this might look good. This might look good. This might actually be the armor that I use this season. Or the color. Like I said, fond memories. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be talking about this in another separate video. To find explosion. That's cool, I guess. Armor. Ten thousand. I mean that's cool. It's just it's still like garbage to me. Can these drop new the new exotics? See, I've I've literally got all the exotics. I just wanna see they can, okay. And unfortunately, this is not a faded engram, I don't think. Yep, not a faded engram. Okay, that's fine. Righteous Vest. 100, 100 Bright Dust is still disrespectful, bro. I don't care who you are. 100 Bright Dust gets you fucking nothing. So this is still disrespectful. And I'm happy they still have it because why the fuck would I not be happy? 100 sounds amazing. So fucking dumb. Uh, another 100. That's cool, I guess. Ooh. Yo, that looks good. All right, this is gonna be the armor set that I, or the color that I'm gonna be rocking for sure, for fucking sure. Okay, that's okay. That was a, okay. Whatever. This is a sniper rifle. Oh shit. Okay, I see why it's a sniper rifle. Interesting. 
I thought that was like a scout rifle or a fusion rifle. What is this? Reese permanently increases the rate of time loss weapon of uh, weapon frames progression by 25%. That's cool. That's like that's pretty cool. An exotic engram. And another fuck. I'm I'm hoping we got like at least another faded engram. Do we not get a faded engram this season? Oh yeah. Wait. Oh, that's right. The the engrams are the Ingrams just turned into faded Ingrams now, All right? Oh shit! Contains a new exotic if any remain to be collected. Otherwise, it contains a random piece of exotic armor. Interesting. That looks awesome. I actually did not see the rocket launcher one. That looks cool. I mean, rocket launcher is like uh, I mean, thanks for giving me garbage, but okay. That looks really good. I like that a lot. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, this uh. Really unlocks access to time loss weapons that contain an alternative final perk. Whatever that is. And yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, it's uh overall this season's kind of uh I'm not gonna say it's garbage because ultimately I don't think it's garbage, but like I'm really happy that this season they don't have anything I'm like actually like wanting to put my money down. Because ultimately, there's a lot of things where I'm just like, I, I could really live without this. So, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, not only that, but they're going to be selling most of it through through Eververse. So, probably not these two. But yeah, I'm actually pretty excited overall. So, we're going to be looking at the Titans and the Warlocks real quick. Because it would be unfair of me not to. So, I will be right back. Alright guys, so I am back. And let's look at the Titans real quick. Ah, uh, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. Wait a minute. Titans only got one? That can't be right, guys. Come on. Alright, so let's look at... What armor set is this? That looks so cool, dude. I probably only need one. Look at this shit. Oh my god. What is this for? Doom Fangs? Oh, shit. Oh, this is for Doom Fangs. I'm actually really happy that they made one for Doomfangs that is not purple or anything. This looks so good, guys. Oh my god, and this goes well with my Titan, because at my Titan, if you guys don't know, I'm going for a Cabal theme type thing where I have Cabal Ship, Ghost, and Sparrow. And this actually melds really well with the Cabal, because obviously it's Cabal. Bro, this, this is probably the best ornament I've seen in a season since... Ooh, a while I'm not I can't even remember like this looks amazing guys it just kind of sucks that they only have one or like ornament is that that can't be right guys what the fuck ah oh, that's that's disappointing that's really disappointing uh I yeah I don't like that Bungie what the fuck give us give us one more for the Titans like I'm actually angry. I'm really... What the fuck? Oh my god, guys. Like, what? Let's look at the Warlocks. I'm actually, like, thoroughly disappointed that the Titans didn't get another one. Because that level... Bro, I'm, I'm also mad that the Titans got that really cool, sick-looking one, dog. Ah, oh, fuck you guys. It would have been awesome if we got, like... For the Hunters, I mean. It would have been awesome if... The Hunters got something like that for uh, Liar's Handshake. That would have been awesome. All right, so the Warlocks, if they get two, if they get if they get one, oh my God, Hunters are gonna get a hate t this season. Okay, that's weird. I mean, this looks cool though. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna front. This looks cool, but what the fuck? Getaway artist. Ah, oh, thanks, Bungie. There you go. Okay, that's really weird. What the fuck? Why? Why do each class except the hunters get two? Mmm. Mmm. I'm not mad that, like, oh, we only got one this season. I'm more mad that only the Titans and the Warlock got one. Oh, shit. That looks cool. Yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah, this is one of my favorite armor sets now. Can't wait to get this. 
But yeah, I, I don't agree with this. This is fucked up. Uh, and this is a Hunter main saying that. But I mean, whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Let me know what you guys think about Eververse. Is it bad? Is it good? I Me personally, it's kind of whatever. I, I don't feel any inclination to like get anything or any... Like, honestly, I'm actually quite happy. I'm not going to spend that much money on Ever Eververse this season because ultimately, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. So... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below, and I will see you guys later.